It always comes to this. Hello there guys, here to do another Tattoo Progress update today. Where I last left off, I had showed off uh, my new roses, the rose sleeve uh, that we're building here, Terry and I. We did this so far in two sessions. Uh, we got a third session coming up next week. But I also had a two and a half hour session with Rick. Um, two hours, something like that, our usual. Uh, pissing around with color and playing with shit, so. I'll go ahead and show that off. So we got back in here, built on another tentacle, um, did some black, did a little more, uh, more of the yellow and blue in here, uh, some of the greens. Rick figures he's finally figured out exactly what the color palette he wants for this is. So uh, whatever the hell that means, means that as I figured, most of these colors are gonna get done again. Um, I think that this one probably needs it the most if I'm being honest. Um, I'm pretty happy with how this is looking overall, but um, I knew it would be a long road there, slow going, and we'd need to figure it out kind of thing. So um, this is session 12 that we've done. Uh, these are all colored in now, so they're all there. Um, now they just need to be framed in better. Um, we'll be hitting center again next week. It'll be Time to get into the face again. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna target the lower part of this or the upper part. Could do where we go lower than upper. Um, we gotta do more on both sides. So I think the next three sessions are framed out for us already, where I believe we'll be doing um, center, side, side again. Um, yeah, again, forgive me. Uh, I'm doing this one just after I made the uh, video on my sleeves and can't seem to get the camera right today i'm a little bit tired as uh i mentioned i've had three sessions this week i've done about six hours in the last two days um and worked both days um it's a lot mentally more than physically my body keeps pace with it pretty well i'm not really that worried about and how any of it will heal this is already all peeled again, so um, it's not changing much after the peel. Um, I will say this last week I gotten tagged in this full color on black cat. I don't even know how many times I've had it sent to me, my email. I've had it sent to my inbox on Instagram a million times. I've been tagged in it repeatedly. Um, I've had people say, what do you think of this, Remy? Like, yeah. I didn't comment on it at first, um, just because I thought it was cool. I was like, yeah, it's good. That's all there is to that, right? I got nothing else to say. But it just kept happening, and I got to the point where I would see, and I didn't go looking, by the way, in case anyone was wondering, I would see uh, uh, the same kind of comments happening over and over again about how Oh, what's it going to look like when it's healed? Oh, it's going to be a black smear when it's healed. And there's going to be nothing left of it when it's healed. It's like, I got to a place where I couldn't, I couldn't listen to it anymore. I had to start firing back a little bit about, you know, it's not like there hasn't been healed color on black for a while now. I'm not the first person who's done this, by the way. I've seen some stuff from a very long time ago. Um, it's never been well explained, but it's been shown off healed before. So I, I got to a place where I was starting to get irritated with it and I started firing back at some people. And I usually get into fights and comment sections. I usually just leave it alone. Um, I respond to my own comments. They don't typically go out of my way. But I just kept getting tagged and it, tagged and it, tagged and it. And yes, it was a good job. This is not to knock the guy. Like, in fact, um, I gave the guy a follow. He follows me and we've chatted a little bit even since. Um, mostly just kind of making some jokes about some of the people in the comments section and um he's put a couple of like fire emojis on some of my posts etc you know you know just kind of uh um small chat but anyway 
the guy did a great work and he's uh he's proving my point he's proving his own point too and that he showed off how that cat healed and it healed great and it healed the way i knew it would i had some people ask me how i thought that thing would heal and i'm like i know exactly how it will heal it's going to be there it's going to be a little darker than it was um that's all he did a great he know what he did he showed up and he did the tattoo that he always does he just did it on black uh, that's what I seen. I looked at the dude's profile. His name is, I believe, Anthony Bennett. Um, he's become pretty popular overnight. He had a pretty small Instagram page and now it's much larger. I knew that would happen. Uh, feels like he's done magic to a lot of people, even though it's not. As I said, uh, Terry is doing this stuff on me here. He's only been tattooing professionally for two years. He just did the tattoo. Now, he did the tattoo with um, the knowledge base that uh, Rick and I's work has provided him. In other words, he's kind of standing on the shoulders of giants to some extent, and that he's taken everything we've learned and benefited from it. Um, we didn't have the hiccups that Rick and I had early on where we were figuring out the terrain, um, but he is an early into his career tattooer, and he's able to do this. So. What this fella, Anthony, has uh, proven is something I've been saying already, is that it doesn't take a fucking wizard to do this. It takes some patience, some effort, and some ingenuity, maybe. Mostly because no one's talked about how you do this, um, which is a big part of what I'm doing now. Sorry, I'm screwing with something here. Um, but it doesn't take a wizard it doesn't take a miracle it doesn't take anything like that you do the tattoo there are some things to note that i always go on and on about on here about um if you can do the whole thing in one shot you'll have a better shot at keeping it that's why we did these roses the way we did and these ones we did the white and the black together lined it up together it'll all age at the same rate and it'll all be um very contrasted and very clear the more you do in conjunction the better it is so in other words in that tattoo and i'm going to be putting some images up here alongside this because i want to talk about this it's a great example um he did multiple colors he did white and he did black not many people are picking out the fact that he did black by the way almost no one commented on the fact that there's white in that tattoo either it was all just like how did he do that it's like well, step by step, he did multiple elements. That's why that all works. If he had just done one color or two colors, all of a sudden Kitty doesn't show off so well. But because he did a full color, elaborate piece, each color bounces off each other and takes away from the fact that it's over that black. It takes power away from that black. Now this cat's gonna keep uh, growing over the next year. I think it's, I think he said it's all he's gonna be posting this year. Um, and by the time he's done a year, dude's going to be world famous if he isn't already. And uh, what I want to stress is not that he's not technically capable or good, because he is. The guy's great. Um, he should have been more popular than he was, in my opinion. Uh, you're just basing it off his uh, uh, work rate, his uh, quality of work. It's just he's doing something at a high level, sure, but... I've seen people who are like, I'm traveling to Florida to get something by. It's like, you should travel to Florida to just get a cool color piece from him. He can do that on black or anything else, right? He just did the tattoo. Um, there's generally speaking, there's a color guy in your area that can do that. Um, you just got to find the color guy. It doesn't take... It's part of what I don't like about the celebrity tattooer thing is like, I think there's some luck. There's always some skill. But there's also some luck of just being doing the right thing at the right time. I think um, with the blackout trend that happened here over the last few years and still is happening, um, now it's it's time for what's next. Okay, so so many people have black sleeves, so this guy's showing what's next. And I think he hit he hit hard, fast, early because he got in, he found something that was really really cool. And I don't think he did it on purpose. I don't think it was like, oh, I'm going to do this to take advantage of a, a market that needs fulfilling. I just think it was like, it was almost like lightning in a bottle. 
where a lot of people are really into it and the image was super super clear and easy to understand even for people who have no awareness of tattoos so it's not as congested and wacky as what i'm working on this is for people um that do like tattoos already this is not going to be an initiation uh this multi-layer bodysuit that i'm working on is not um it's not going to be that spark for someone who has no tattoos or where you do a really recognizable cat or even something like what i've done with these roses those are entry level friendly those appeal to um the common denominator and i'm not insulting anyone either it's just it's a matter of fact anyway he knocked out of the park and i could see i could see him becoming the color on black guy which is fantastic by the way if, if he could pull that off like, i think there's a real market to be tapped there but the lesson to be learned here isn't anthony is an amazing tattooer but he is and this isn't me being butthurt or jealous like all props to the guy it's that um this work can be done and because he had never posted one of those before before he did that it would be assumed that he couldn't do that before he posted that people would assume that he couldn't do that either um it's just not the case if you can saturate ink you can do color on black um there's a lot of old head tattooers that think that that's not possible but it is it's not even debatable anymore um people will say well what it's not gonna stay that bright well it doesn't need to stay that bright no one no one's promising that no one's promising that this is going to be as clear as it would be on an empty canvas what we're saying is that the image is creatable and it will hold up this is no, i'm not going to wake up tomorrow and this is gone if you're thinking that give your head a shake there's no reality where this just vanishes overnight i have this to tell you that this is now over two years i've had this moon on my hand and where is it gone it's not going away look at it this is white on white and black on black it's not going anywhere that is super white all of this stuff is staying so i think anyway to get back to my point i think that this guy tapped into a market that um was waiting to be serviced and good on him um and i i applaud his success and i i'm a huge supporter and we need more people out there doing that um i don't care if it becomes a trend to do it um i want people to know it's possible that's why i've been saying it over and over again so yeah didn't have a ton to say this session was a lot like the uh last few again we're going to be 20 30 sessions on this chess piece before we're done as i said to begin with um, no hurry. I'm still enjoying doing this stuff with Rick. Having a blast with Terry, too. I've got two sessions coming up this week. Uh, we'll be doing another session, like I said, in the middle of the chest. And then I'm going to be doing the big rows on my outer bicep. I'm not sure which one. I'll probably be showing off the chest piece next. But who knows what order it'll be in. It all kind of always just depends on how it all shakes out. My body's still healing up great. I'm taking all of this really, really well. I'm swollen because again i just got this one tattoo today and i'm a little tired so i might have been a little ranty but i definitely did want to talk about um uh mr well i'm calling it space kitty because it's got some space vibes to it uh i think it was a brilliant tattoo great great job excellent execution really really palatable stuff um and all the love for people who are showing this work can be done on a high level um I want to see more of it and I want to see more experimentation and tattooing in general. So big props to this guy. And if you haven't seen it yet, I'm um, going to put his uh, name in the description here so you can uh, link to his page so you can go check it out yourself. Um, Kevin and I are also going to be doing a Remy Reacts to this tattoo and, and probably do a whole feature on it. Uh, there's enough to talk about for one whole episode. So that will probably go up before this will. But the guy deserves all the credit in the world for doing this and uh we need to see more examples like this because it's it's proving my point even better than i can um to be quite honest so all right i'll talk to you guys again soon have a great day